Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and welcome back to the Salt Mine. I know, I know it's been a while, but we're back, baby. There wasn't much drama that happened this week, but we have a whole lot of news. New Capenna is coming out on both paper and digital MTG games. Some pre-release kits didn't have any rares. There was a ton of MTG Arena announcements, and there was just a little bit of drama with people not getting invited to the digital early access when they used to in the past. The paper pre-release of New Capenna happened this weekend, and there was quite a few pre-release kits that had packs with no rares or mythics in them. So some people got three out of six of their packs with absolutely no rares or mythics, and some people even got all six packs completely rareless. How does this even happen? No idea. But I also haven't seen Watsi address it whatsoever. So if you hear anything, please let me know in the comments section below because I'm really interested to see how they're actually going to address this. I don't know how people are going to prove that it actually happened. I feel that some people may be able to fake it. It's also possible that it's all traced. They find an error in the batch that they sent out, so they're able to trace it to specific stores. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I would like to know. So if you do know, let me know in the comment section below. There was a monthly magic stream that happened on Thursday this week, and there were so many things announced. So here's a quick breakdown of what happened, but if you want timestamps and a link to the VOD, all of that will be in the description below. So make sure to check that out again if you want all of the details. Double Masters is being released on July 8, 2022. Nuke Penna MTGA release is April 28th, 2022. And Nuke Penna Paper release is April 29th, 2022. And there are also two MTGA pre-orders for Nuke Penna currently. Each one will give you five free Mythic packs. So a total of 10 if you get both of those pre-orders. There's also going to be 15 Command Fests all around the world within June and July to celebrate the release of Commander Legends. So make sure to check out magic.gg for all the details there. The digital Premier Play Path now ties in with the tabletop Premier Play Path. Now, that was actually really difficult for me to record because that is a tongue twister. I don't know how I finally got that out. Regardless, if you want details on that, head on over to magic.gg for all of those details. It'll probably be a graphic that pops up over my head or completely covering this that kind of gives you some details. But there's also a new eternal play format in Arena called Explorer. There is also a new historic anthology coming out later this year, hopefully by the end of summer. And now I actually just want to go into a few more details about the new Explorer format. The Explorer format in MTGA is basically just historic, but only paper cards that are in Pioneer. That's pretty much it. So there's no ETA on Pioneer being fully implemented in MTGA still, but Explorer is the new path to Pioneer. So it's still historic, but Pioneer, it's literally the same. They just changed the name. Anyway, it doesn't make any, none of this makes sense to me. It's the same exact promise that they did when they came out with historic three years ago. They're like, yeah, we're gonna implement Pioneer we're just gonna have historic being a set and a format until we slowly add all the Pioneer cards and then it will split off into two different formats. So currently, this is the split up format. It's just called Explorer instead of Pioneer and it will eventually be Pioneer whenever it gets there. Whatever. Anyway, the ban list is going to be exactly the same as it would be in Pioneer. So all of the bands that will be in the graphic whenever it shows up here <laughs> are going to be the same exact ones. If any of those cards are in arena, those will be banned. If a card is banned in Explorer, you will get your wild cards for it, which is really nice, but you don't if you have already gotten wild cards for that specific card in the past. Currently, you can only play this format through direct challenges, but you can build a deck through the format section in the UI. So when you start a new deck, you go into the filters, you pull down the list of the deck format types, and you scroll all the way down, and you click on Explorer. This format will have a queue opened up for it on April 28th, 2020 so you won't actually have to wait that long for it to open. It's actually pretty nice to be able to build some decks before the format opens, I'm not gonna lie. If you have had the chance to play this format at all, let me know how you enjoy it in the comments section below. I'm also very interested if anybody is actually into Pioneer because from everything that I've heard, 
it seems pretty boring. Let's consult PT Bench for an expert opinion on this topic. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Next in the news, there's going to be an early access event for some streamers and content creators on April 26th, 2022, which is two days prior to the release of Nuka Pen on MTGA. There was a little bit of drama because some people didn't actually get invited to the early access when they definitely should have, Ash Shizzle being the primary example. I think she is the sixth most watched MTG streamer in the last 90 days, so an entire set. It blows my mind that there is no automatic like, hey, top 10 streamers, top 10 most watched streamers, top 10 most watched YouTubers. Like, There's websites that show you all this information. You just automatically send out invites to all those people first, basically. That's what makes the most sense. But I think after all the uproar, there was a lot of people that were able to get it fixed. There was actually a clip in the monthly, the monthly magic update that came out that they specifically said, hey, if you didn't get an email and you were in the content creator program before, then just go ahead and send us a Twitter message or add us and we'll fix it for you. I don't know how many people actually got through to them. I personally messaged them and I didn't get anything. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry for the long wait. My editor certified does live in Ukraine, so he was having some uh, life issues, I guess you could say, for obvious reason. I hope you can understand, but he is safe, his family's safe. We love him. Welcome back, certified. But we are definitely back to doing daily uploads because no rest. We're not gonna ease back into it. We're going daily, balls deep. Maybe not Balls Deep. Balls Deep Daily. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, Balls Deep Daily. All right, Balls Deep Daily starting as of three days ago, four days ago. It's a combination of videos on this channel and the gameplay channel. You can find the gameplay channel at the top right-hand corner of the screen. A little card should pop out. But make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of these videos. Thank you all so much for watching to the very end. I do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow, especially since it's a new one. So please share it with anybody who you think might be interested. Hit that subscribe button, bell notification, and leave a comment.